friends, do you see that? That is vanadium. So, do you know that vanadium is one of the top 10 strongest metals on earth? Hmm. The answer is yes. Vanadium isn't exactly what the we think of when we speak of technology, but it's one of the world's most important metals and is likely to become even more significant as renewable energies look to dominate the fossil fuel industry. Furthermore, vanadium is a chemical element with symbol V and atomic number of 23 in the predictable. The interesting fact about vanadium is that vanadium was discovered twice. Panchromium and erythronium were the suggested names for vanadium. It is classified as a transition metal and it named after an old Norse goddess. Hmm, interesting information, right? So, what vanadium is? Vanadium is a silvery white soft metal. It is alloyed with steel and iron for high speed tools, high strength, low alloy steel, and wear resistant cast iron. Vanadium was discovered by the Spanish mineralogist Andres Manuel del Brio, who named it Entronium, but eventually came to believe it was merely impure chromium. The element was rediscovered by the Swedish chemist Niels Gabriel Sefström, who named it after Vanadis. The English chemist Henry Anfield Bosco first isolated the metal in 1867 by hydrogen reduction of vanadium dichloride, and the American chemist John Wesley Martin and Macomb and Rich obtained it 99.7% pure in 1925 by reduction of vanadium pentoxide with calcium metal. So guys, let's go. We see how the vanadium occurs, produced and used. Vanadium was found combined in various minerals, coal and petroleum. Vanadium is the 22 most abundant element in Earth's crust. Some commercial sources are the minerals carnotite and vanadinite. Other commercial sources are vanadium, bearing magnetites and fluid dust from smoke stars and boiler of ships burning certain Venezuelans and Mexican oils, China, South Africa and Russia were the leading producers of vanadium in the early 21st century. If you guys are wondering, vanadium is obtained from ores as vanadium pentoxide through a variety of smelting, leaching and roasting processes. The pentoxide is then reduced to ferro-vanadium or vanadium powder. The preparation of very pure vanadium is difficult because the metal is quite reactive toward oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon at elevated temperatures. Vanadium metal sheets, strips, foil, bar, wire, and tubing have found use in high temperature service, in the chemical industry, and in bonding other metals. So, how about the advantages of vanadium? Vanadium can increase the tempering stability to quench it still and produces a secondary hardening effect. Vanadium can refine the grain, increase the strength and yield ratio and low temperature toughness after normalizing and improve the welding performance of ordinary low alloy steel. Wow! Moreover, vanadium is primary application has been strengthening steel. It's used in buildings and bridges around the world. For example, the steel section of Chicago's famous Willis Tower, the reinforced steel bars in Hong Kong Central Plaza, and the countless new buildings being constructed across China today. Ever-increasing design standards mean 
more demand for high strength steel. Vanadium is also used in hundreds of other steel applications. This includes heavy equipment, industrial tools, automotive parts, medical devices, sheet plates, rail lines, turbine engines, airframes, and military vehicles. So guys, Surprisingly, there are so many facts and information about vanadium we never heard before, right? Now, we all know what is the vanadium and the applications used around the world. With that, I will end this video. Thank you and see you soon!